Hello everyone. Welcome to IEEE Expert. Today we are going to see project about student performance prediction using machine learning. So the project title was analysis and prediction of student academic performance using educational data mining. This is the project we are going to check today. So if you need any machine learning project means please approach ieeexpert.com. We do provide projects at a better price when compared to other places. So this is the base paper which we are going to consider. This is a project abstract. The project architecture given below. So this is the project architecture. They were taken various data from the Kaggle by using a data set collection. They have formed some specific data for each and every students. So they have taken the data set as an example. They have trained those data set. Using the training, they have to predict the performance of the student in future. So for example, one student will get pass or fail in future examination. They have to predict that clearly. So based on that prediction result, they have to improve the student performance. So this is the project main goal. So by innovation, we have added some other content with this project. What additional content we have added with this means, we have taken teacher performance prediction also. We have considered teacher performance prediction also. This is the major innovation, innovative content which we have added in this project along with the student performance prediction. So we have considered student performance prediction as well as teacher performance prediction. So we have considered both the things in single project. This is the major project which we are going to implement today. So I'm going to explain the project PPT here. So this is a project PPT as well as we are, we do have project report also readily available. Once you are ready to make the purchase means please contact us. We do give, give this project. So this is the project report, everything given here. So I'm going to explain the project PPT over. So this is my project PPT. So we are given that student performance prediction in online courses using machine learning algorithm. This is a project title, project abstract we are given here. Okay. So this project used to predict the performance of the students earlier. Okay. So according to the prediction result, we have to enhance the students' uh, learning skills to make them better score in future exam. So this is the major agenda of this project. So, so this project considered four models. One is data set collection, feature extraction, training module, testing module. Those four models we have to consider here. So this project very much benefitable for the educational institutes. Okay. So this is very much benefited for the educational institutes. We should consider those also. So for prediction purpose, we have concluded some machine learning algorithm here. So we have taken some machine learning algorithm for uh, training of this data as well as testing of the data. Those machine learning algorithms which we have considered was giving better accuracy when compared to the algorithm mentioned in the papers. So this is project introduction. We are given literacy service also. Those existing system getting our accuracy around 91 percentage, but our project we will get accuracy above 97 percentage. So project existing system. In existing system, uh, this is the algorithm they have used. Cross industry standard process for the data mining. This is the algorithm used in this project. A base paper but uh, when compared to the proposed system this existing system having certain limited limitations what's the main limitation was the accuracy was low when compared to our proposed system as well as the dimension uh, dimensionality of the data they have taken which is so similar to the previous ones okay those data not having higher standard features they have considered very much less features when compared to the proposed system which will uh, directly affect your accuracy of the system so this is the major drawback of your proposed system. So, no, sorry, drawback of your existing system. This is the proposed system. We have to test this model in offline as well as online. So there is no need of any internet connection to run this project. This project can be run via online as well as offline. That is the major advantage here. As well as we have taken data set from various sources. Okay, we have considered various features in compared to the existing system. So this is the proposed system architecture. So in architecture, we have considered various features as I mentioned here earlier. So you have to give the academic data, placement data, previous year data, as well as uh, personal data, student parental data. Those data you have to feed into the data set. We have to consider various features from this. Based on the training will occur. After training, you can directly test whether the student is getting passed or not. So major advantage was accuracy was higher when compared to the existing system. As I mentioned earlier, I am considering more features when compared to the existing system. So this is the advantage of this project. So for running this project, we need Python as well as we need Anaconda ID to run this project. 
so back end we have used an sql server okay without wasting much time i am going to run this project so without wasting much time i am going to run this project so this is the project code folder so this is the complete code of this project the data set which you are considering was this is the data set which you are considering so we are having various data set for this project so for example in data set we have to consider student role number gender so which belongs to group he belongs to parents uh, parents education level lunch test preparation then uh, score on each subject as well as we have to mention duration attended on each subject uh, private class physical fitness mental fitness internet availability those are the features we are going to consider here so i'm going to run this project to run this project i'm going to open project folder i'm going to run app.py this is my main code here so i'm going to copy the project location what i'm going to do means i'm going to open anaconda navigator in anaconda navigator i have to open project location then i have to use cd space project location then python space app.py i have to give so i used python space app.py so once project running means it will generate the localhost address just copy the localhost address in paste it on your uh, browser any browser so this is the project home page so this is the project home page complete home page of this project you have to go to the login page directly you can go for the prediction page also not an issue directly you can check prediction page not an issue so by serial i'm going to use login page i have to use admin then password admin once login successful means you have to upload the data set so for that what i'm going to do means i choose file i have to go to the project location project location student performance prediction student teacher performance prediction in that i'm going to upload train data set so this is my train data set i have to give upload once data set uploaded means it will show the data here so as i mentioned here really everything will show here so once everything successful means i have to use click train or test so it will go for the tra uh, training process after training completion it will give training finished then you have to go for the testing page this is the testing page you can check directly the student result and everything what I'm going to give means student name. I'm going to give Madan student name. So I'm going to give my registration number as a double one zero four six. My registration number. Example, I'm giving my gender will be male. Club activities. Club activities means sport activities. Yes, I'm giving. So total OD count. I'm going to give OD count as a two to five OD. I got. Then I'm going to give sport uh, sport participation score. I'm going to give twenty to forty marks. Then test preparation course. I'm giving. Uh, never attended any test preparation course, so I given none. So subject one mark I'm giving seventy five, subject two mark I'm giving seventy five, subject three marks I'm giving eighty, uh, then subject four I'm giving forty, subject five I'm giving sixty five. This is the mark I'm getting. Uh, for example, subject four I'm giving thirty marks. Then what I'm going to do means subject one duration I'm going to give uh, thirty hours, subject two duration I'm giving thirty hours. Subject 5 duration giving 50 hours. Subject 4 40 hours. Subject 5 40 hours. This is the subject hours I'm giving. Then what I'm going to do means whether you attend a private class or not. So I'm giving yes. Physical fitness. Perfect. Yes. Then I'm giving my internet availability in my home. I just given no. Then mental fitness I'm giving. I'm perfectly all this. Just I'm giving yes. That what I'm going to give means I am going to give predict button. So predict button, if I giving predict button means congratulations. According to your analysis, your performance is good. You no need you need to practice enough to remain in touch with the subject. So don't lose your uh, marks, keep it up. So this is the suggestion for me. I'll get better marks in sorry, I'm getting pass in my future exam. So this is my performance. What I'm going to give, I'm going to give different input now. So I'm going to give put a name as a then I am going to give registration number as a 0045. Uh, gender will be female. So club activities I given no. Total OD count I given. So 8 and above I given. 
then test to preparation completed i given subject on score 30 subject two score 30 subject three i given 80 so then subject five also i given 60 then what i am giving subject on duration 20 hours attended subject two attended 20 hours so subject three attended 60 hours so subject four attended 50 hours 50 hours so i am going to give private class no physical fitness yes good internal variability yes i am giving so mental fitness not standard i am giving so now i am going to predict for this ramya student once uploaded means work hard so it will giving result as a work hard according to our analysis your performance need to be improved and uh, please it's possible by focusing on your academics so you, this student ramya have to focus on his higher academics never let to start please stay positive as well as work hard all the best so this is the things given to the ramya so uh, what i'm going to do means i'm going to give uh, i'm going to use teacher prediction now i'm going to test with this teacher's prediction so for teacher prediction what i'm going to do means so let's get started so teacher's name was i given teacher's name was ramesh i'm giving so what i'm going to do means he was male then uh, his age was 30 to 35 i'm giving then he completed uh, b tech i'm giving so next so secondary qualification m tech i'm giving so class per week 11 to 15 hours i'm giving so total fail students so around two students failed in his class i given so number of students above 80 percent score so around 30 plus students got sorry i'm giving 20 plus students got 80 percent above score that what i'm going to give means amount of free times you got the teacher having average number of free hours so what i'm going to give means health status he was good so health status was good Total absent days. I given 10 absent days for him. So he from rural or urban area. So I am giving urban area. Then I am going to give. So his father graduation. Uh, sorry, guardian of this teacher. Father I am giving. Then I am going to give final test results. So final test result for this teacher was. Ramesh will likely to score 19 out of 20. So his performance was good when compared to the existing system so this is the teacher performance prediction you can check performance also so for uh, performance you can check other members what i'm going to do means i'm going to for the analysis pages in analysis pages ramesh having sorry just a minute So I'm going to for the student chart. In student chart, I'm going to test the student analysis. In student, so subject on having one or two students uh, uh, got better marks. Subject two having 172 students got better marks. Subject three having 60 plus students. Subject four plus 54 students. Subject five having 54 students got good marks. So overall, in this uh, test training data set, around 74 percent of students got pass mark. 26 percentage of students got fail mark as well as overall accuracy of the student performance prediction was 98 percent student accuracy we got this training accuracy was 99 so this is the accuracy for the student as well as we have to go for the teachers performance for that we have to use t chart here in t chart you can get teachers performance so overall age playing major sorry student marks student marks making major role in teacher performance secondary age and free time making big impact on teacher performance as well as education qualification also plays an important role then absent number of absent it uh, teacher performance that's not directly relevant to the number of absent major role was number of student mark age as well as number of free time this is the major player in teacher performance as well as overall 63 percentage of teachers got good marks 37 percentage of teachers having low score when compared to the previous systems as well as accuracy of the teacher performance prediction was same 98 percent training accuracy 97 percent training accuracy so this is the accuracy of the teacher performance 
so to get this project please contact iwexpert.com we do get this project at better price with installation support execution support everything to get the coupon as well as future project related activities please subscribe to our channel thank you